Yeah, so the professor would ask us a question in class and we would use the online discussion tool to figure out a solution to the problem or we would discuss the steps we would take to, to come to the solution or we could just have a, a kind of a miscellaneous discussion as well, say if we found something interesting or funny we were welcome to share that as well and it, I think it uh, it was helpful to see what other people were doing, the steps that other people were taking to, to solve problems was a helpful way for me to to approach a problem from a new perspective. Yes, I think um, I think software like Adobe Connect uh, or or any um, teleconferencing uh, software, people sometimes use Skype uh, for conferencing, etc. I think these technologies are definitely here to stay. Um, even when we work, we go to work, we, we have to uh, use these technologies uh, for communication. So as far as communication technologies are concerned, um, yes, they're, they're, they're very helpful. They, um, the courses exposes you, the courses expose you to these kind of technologies that you can use later on um, in your work life, maybe in your personal life. For the blended courses that I've taken, uh, a lot of the conversations online have been where the professor posts one or more questions and you have to answer them based on the readings for that particular week. So um, in my experience it's been different. Sometimes you only have one day to answer those questions and sometimes you have a whole week to answer those questions. So first you answer the questions then uh, you post it online and in my experience I've had two different scenarios so one time it was everyone who is in, in the class will get to read your posting and they could possibly respond to it and in another situation um, the class was divided in two so you can still read everyone's postings but you can only respond to those who are in your group so I've had those both uh, both of those experiences. Um, so you type out your answer to the questions, you post it online on the discussion board, and um, depending when the deadline is, someone may read your posting and respond to that, and you generally should reply back to them. And you also have to read someone else's posting and comment on it. So you have to say more, you should say more than I agree, or that's a really great, you make a really great, great point. Um, because the online sessions of blended learning are generally worth a great chunk of your mark, you have to be very detailed. If you say that sounds great and you leave it, you're not going to get 10 out of 10 for your, for your contribution. Um, uh, from my experiences, the professors have never been involved on the online discussions, which I think would be something neat for them to do, for them to get in on the conversations as well. Uh, generally, uh, what happens is once your module or once your online specific online session is done, the professor will um, give you some feedback as to what you did good or they may make it in general as to how the class did good and they may summarize um, all the points that were brought up and then they may post that online for you to read.